On this day of June 2nd, 1997, the senior class of Napa High School was having fun at a day at Concord Water Park. They went there to celebrate their graduation. Little did they know, the happiest day in their life would turn into disaster. A towering water slide named Bonsai Pipeline Water, packed with teenagers on a graduation outing, collapsed at Concord Amusement Park, killing one girl named Quimby Glotty and injuring 32 other youths. A few of the students decided on the spot to honor the long-standing tradition of clogging the Bonsai Pipeline water slide before they went home. But for the group of high schoolers, the thrill of a water slide turned into a scary lesson. This is the tragic story of the students of Napa High School who went to explore the Bonsai Pipeline water slide at Concord Water Park. But it caused them the toll of a life of an 18-year-old young girl named Quimby Glotty and injured 32 others. The school year at Napa High School, a comprehensive high school in California, ended in June. The students, who were between 17 and 18 years old at the time, would spend their last year there. As usual, the school would take their students to the water park, but this was the first year they were taken to a different water park in California, which was in Concord. In 1997, the Bonsai Tunnel was the last thing to be added to the park. It is an exciting, fast-moving water slide with three unique twists, turns, and spins that send people down more than three floors just for fun. People from all over the United States like to visit the Concord Water Park, which was about 20,000 square feet in size. The amusement park would close for the winter and reopen in the spring with a fun new attraction. As more kids go down, a lot of energy will build up right before everyone lets go and falls into the water at the same time. By the time 2.45 rolled around, more than 30 kids had made it to the top of the slide. Before jumping into the water, the plan was to block up the water slide and make a huge pile of trash. But in this case, students saw what can happen if you take fun and games too far and don't follow the safety rules even if they seem small. They ignored the lifeguard's advice and went down the slide one at a time, but they never got to the bottom because there were 33 students going down the slope at the same time, and the slide was only made for one person at a time. Because of this, the fiberglass on the slide had already started to break when it suddenly opened, sending all 33 kids flying down the 40-foot drop to the ground below. When the slide jerked down, a group of young people who were standing together went down first. The rest of the students came after them one by one. Many of them crashed into the ground or other students after hitting wooden support poles on their way down. The students' bodies were dropping from the sky, and their blood soaked the ground and ran into nearby water. Before people came to help, the victims were almost buried under a pile of rubble. The emergency services got there quickly, and people who were hurt were taken to nearby hospitals by rescue workers. Many of the people who went to the hospitals were hurt in the head, had broken bones, and were bleeding heavily. Quimby Glotty, who was 18 and the last person to fall, hit her head on the concrete and was taken to the Mount Diablo Medical Center in Concord. She was bleeding heavily and immobile when she fell, according to the witnesses. According to witnesses, at around 3.30 p.m., they claimed to have heard a tremendous crash as the Bonsai Pipeline slide collapsed. Then, as young people were dropped from a height of around 30 feet to a strip of pavement and mud, plants and flowers, and the bottom of the slide, they heard crunching noises and screams of pain. The blood of the victims stained the water that was spilled from the collapsing slide. It was horrible. All the kids were covered in mud and blood, said a sobbing Debbie Smith, who was at the park with her family and watched the slide collapse. At 4.15 p.m., the 18-year-old Napa High School student Quimby Glotty died from head and chest injuries at Mount Diablo Medical Center in Concord. The slain girl's father, according to Napa High School principal Lars Christensen, is doing remarkably well considering all he's been through. He said the girl's mother had not been informed yet. She was a very vivacious and wonderful lady, he said of the dead girl. 
adding that she had been a member of the school's mock trial club. A strong student, very active. We will certainly honor her passing with a memorial service. After what happened, the park in question was shut down and a probe was started. As more details about what happened came out in the days that followed, the media put a lot of attention on Napa High School as the center of their coverage. The kids' parents, including Quimby's, have sued the park for wrongful death, saying that the slope was too steep and there wasn't enough protection in the parking lot to stop the accident. The kids' parents filed a lawsuit. The study found that the weight of the elders sitting at the side was more than four times what the structure could hold, which led to its collapse. They also said that the administrators at Napa High School didn't do anything, even though they supposedly heard the kids talking about what they were going to do. But the reviews didn't find any evidence of wrongdoing, and the park said it wasn't at all to blame. About $1.7 million of the almost $4 million that Concord Park gave to the families of those who were hurt was given to Quimby's family. All the following week, over 800 people attended Quimby's memorial service, which was held in the school's gymnasium. Many other friends are still in crutches and wheelchairs from the week before. Not only were classmates saying goodbye to their friend, but they were also saying goodbye to their innocences. As well, assistant head teacher Roger Ashlock said, We won't see her graduation going. We won't see a walk across the stage. We won't get hugs in the reception line. But I have faith we will see her again to tell her that we love her and to give her a hug that we missed in June. A lot of emphasis was put on the fact that it was their own fault. It was actually they who caused the overcrowding. But we need to remember they were only 17 and 18. If the students would have listened to the advice of the guards, the life of Quimby Glotti could be saved, and the other 32 were also living a life free of mental traumas and nightmares. Later on that year, the students went on to have their graduation ceremony, and today are doing much better, although some of them are still haunted by the incident and will have chronic injuries that will follow them for the rest of their lives. The site was reinforced over the next few weeks and reopened. It remains open to this day, obviously. So this was the tragic story of Quimby Glotti. Don't do anything overjoyed, and always remember to follow the rules of the rides strictly. Let me know your opinions below and subscribe for more similar content. Thank you for watching.